Galactic Federation Update. June 4, 2013. 10 Chicken, 13 Packs, 9 Eb. Selamat Jaren. We return with important things to discuss. The most important is about first contact. In the past, we decided to rely heavily on a formal disclosure announcement from your new governments. Now, what we intend to do is increase the present level of daytime sightings to supplement the general disclosure policy of the new governments. It is of course simple to sit back and let the current scenario play out. However, we intend to create a more conducive environment for these announcements by more actively preparing the ground for them. We are committed to demonstrating that we are both benevolent and dedicated to a full disclosure. We are aware that many of you do not comprehend what these flyovers are leading up to, namely, the global mass landing of our craft and the formal introduction to each of you of your own personal mentor. Each dearly wishes to meet you and begin the teachings which prepare you for your wondrous shift into full consciousness. There is much for you to learn, an entire new history of your branch of humanity. A new understanding of physicality and a working knowledge of how heaven operates. The light has certain operating procedures that you need to know about because it is what our galactic societies are founded upon. Each of these procedures brings you closer to a better understanding of the four laws, and once we arrive, we will all need time for you to get a good grip on, and feel comfortable with, all that is changing in your lives. Boredom will be a thing of the past. Just about everything you think you know will shift. In short, the amount of change you are being asked to absorb is staggering. As an example, all of you will be brought to a realization of how badly you have treated your home world. Gaia graciously acknowledges the nearly complete ignorance of these matters that most of you possess and so the first order of the day will be to realign your society's basic priorities. We will then explain how the new principles and their accompanying technologies work within the structure of your daily lives. This is an example of the pivotal role that your new prosperity can play in furthering all that must be done to uplift your societies. So much of your lives, and indeed the lives of all living things on your surface world, need to be healed, lightened, and reformed. This transformation is just the first of many that you will move through. You reside on a very special world, and she is dying. Gaia's diversity is severely threatened and you are swiftly approaching the start of a deadly syndrome which is capable of becoming a mass extinction cycle. We are waiting to implement an operation which can quickly reverse all of this, but you need to know that the Dark Cabal has come up with a most sinister plot to extinguish life on your surface realm. To stop this, we require your assistance as your energies are to help us reverse this dark contingency. All that is to be done we will do together. For millennia you have unwittingly given away your powers to whatever scheme the Cabal so desired. Now comes the opportunity for you to step up and reclaim responsibility for what you wish to see accomplished in your world. Demonstrating your acceptance of this responsibility, and of the ways of the light, moves you swiftly along your path to full consciousness. Our mission goal is most assuredly to assist you as quickly and seamlessly as possible to return to full consciousness. This prophesied leap in planetary consciousness is the reason we are here. Heaven has a divine timetable for all this and our mission is therefore contingent upon this same schedule. We dearly wish you to have access to all the information that you need in order to grasp to some extent the significance of what has been divinely decreed for you. Recently, Heaven mandated a period of delay, but the time for picking up the schedule again has now arrived and so we intend to take some historic actions. A prime requisite is for you to see that we are real, and committed to you and your return to full consciousness. We have planned some events with the Igarthans to assure you that you are not alone. We will not announce these many events in advance, but they will be done in such a way as to leave no doubt in your minds that we are here. The Dark Cabal has run this reality for too long without any option for you to escape its tyranny. It is our intention to provide you with the ability to do so. Blessings, dear hearts. We are your Ascended Masters. We arrive with good news. Our secret sacred society members are in the last stages of preparing your funds for delivery. 
When completed, the activation of these funds will trigger the new governance, the series of formal announcements, and a massive change in how your world operates. All this will produce an environment favorable to disclosure and the opportunity for us to begin our many sacred teachings on a global scale. Our manifestation among you will transform your present notions of your origins and what your future holds. You are sacred beings, who have spent the past 13 millennia wandering around in a dense fog with no memory or understanding of how you got there. We have come to put you in the picture again and present you with a cogent account of what is going on in your world. You will then be reliably prepared for what will happen after first contact. Your now suppressed spiritual abilities will be much emphasized by your new mentors, who will also focus on a lot of new history, new spiritual philosophies, and even the nature of your upcoming missions on heaven's behalf. The framework you will be given will be in stark contrast to the grim and gloomy pack of lies and manipulation force fed to you since the fall of Atlantis. Our own successful efforts to return to immortality and to the true wisdom of the ages were a feat of unbelievable focus and sheer willpower, and we are so pleased that you will not have to undertake such strenuous procedures as well. This crucible is to be replaced with a living and loving light chamber, individually tailored to each one's specific needs, thus allowing you to be healed and restored to the splendor of your original design. This glorious, reconstituted being can then conjoin with the Agarthans and us, your ascended masters, as we prepare to reunite with our spiritual and space families. Your transformation into a fully conscious being of light is something that the dark and its ilk have dreaded for millennia and, as you know to your cost, have done all in its power to prevent. Now heaven has put in place the optimum course to bring about her sacred edict your return to full consciousness. Once you emerge from your light chamber, you are a changed individual, with little vestige remaining of what you were. You are returning to your original template and capable of expressing the full gamut of your original blueprint. Our work with you will then change as we show you and your personal mentors the nuances of galactic society. We will also explore how to maximize your new potential as you create your own, unique galactic society, which is quite quickly to become the foundation of your new star nation. Heaven intends to smile on us and bestow on us many marvelous spiritual gifts. This will further ensure us a special place in the Galactic Federation of Light. Today, we continued with our series of updates. Be advised that the time arrives for what we have so long been waiting for, namely, the long talk of changes which will allow us to meet you and begin the proceedings to return you to full consciousness. This is a most auspicious time in our joint histories. No, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it. Selamat Gajan. Selamat Ya, Syrian for B1. And be in joy. Channeled by Sheldon Nidal. www.paoweb.com